right, guys, today we're going to take a look at this really old Yale, just a beautiful lock, and unusually, this one did come with a key. Now, I had a guy in my shop the other day, a buddy of mine, also a lock picker, and he got to playing with this one, and he put the key in there, and he says, you know, he put a tension on it, he played with it for a lot, and finally he came up and he said, this lock is totally jacked up. I think the core is like rusted clothes. There's something really wrong with this thing, so, you know, it's not going to work. And I watched him do this. Now, here's the thing. Oftentimes, I see people getting into a rut. They keep trying the same thing over and over and over, and they base what they're doing on assumptions from what they've seen before. So we're used to pin tumbler locks. We slide the key in, and then routinely we kind of rotate the core. Now, those of you who've seen this lock are yelling, no, dummy, that's not the way. But these are kind of rare locks. You don't see them all the time. You can tension cores one of two ways. You can tension it rotationally by turning the key as most PIM tumblers today work. So left or right. But when we turn this, first of all, it's a wrong key. It doesn't work. Uh, I, this is one of the few instances I got a key and unfortunately this key is not the correct key for this lock. But if we were to slide that in there and turn it, it's not going to rotate left or right. But when I'm holding this key, if you'll take a look, I'm going to, I can use that key to show you something else. I'm going to hold it up close as I turn the key. Now look at that shackle. Notice how the shackle is moving left and right. As I turn the key, the entire shackle is turning left and right. And that tells me that the entire core is part of this shackle. So again, don't assume just because it's a pin tumbler, it's always going to work like that. This tells me that uh, it's a solid piece. And in order to tension this, the other way to tension it instead of rotationally, is longitudinally, in other words, along this axis. So instead of turning the core to bind those pins, I can actually pull on this. So if this were to open, if that were the correct key, I put it in there and I would pull on the shackle and the entire core would then countersink, you know, about halfway, and then the shackle would pop up and then I'd rotate everything as one unit. Kind of unusual, it's a great manufacturing technique, probably a lot cheaper than coming up with a separate pin tumbler along with the actuator and all that stuff. But um, I'm not really sure people have that figured out. So let's find out if it works. Um, I'm going to put this in my vise. And hopefully it does work. And because my vise is kind of light, I can't really put a lot of pressure on this. I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is take a screwdriver, and I'm going to put the screwdriver behind the lock. And then that way I can push, I can, I'll probably push down on it. And what I'm doing is putting pressure. I'm prying the body of this up, and the shackle is being held inside of the vise. And by doing that, if you look closely, and I'll try to zoom in a little bit here, and hopefully you'll see that if I can get the camera to cooperate. There we go. When I push this up, you can see that now the core is sinking down a little bit into the body. And so I'm overcoming the tension, and now I'm, when I get about right there, I'm binding up those pins. Now we can pick them. So let me find a pick, like, uh, like this guy, I guess. We'll try this one. It's a pretty wide open keyway. So I'm gonna apply slight tension, tension that core, slide it in there, find the, the uh, pin, and there's one. And now notice how it's sunk down just a little bit more inside of there. So we're on the right track. It's definitely not rotating. There's two. Where are you? There's got to be one more, or two more even. Okay, I'm going to lighten up on my tension. Again, it's, it's an unusual way to tension a lock, so it's hard to figure out exactly how much tension to place on it. So I'm lightening up a little bit. And there we go. Notice how it, it sinks down there. It didn't go quite as deep as I thought, but notice how the whole body is now starting to turn. The keyway stays vertical, and that's because it's part of that shackle. I pull the screwdriver out. Let me move all this out of the way and show you what we're talking about here. It just pops up enough, and that, that little piece right there is interlocked in the body, and that is how this lock stays secured. And then when you flip it back, I'm going to hold this up and see on the bottom. Notice how we rotate everything. And now it pops back in place. Now it's again locked up. So very cool. I guess what I'm trying to say is don't be like my buddy who's in here trying to force what he thought was the right, right way to tension this lock. If you're trying something and it doesn't work, try something different. Keep your mind open and try to figure out how the lock works before you 
like he was doing, try to force it to tension it. That could very well have damaged either a tension tool or broken the lock. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. And these are cool locks. If you know anything about this lock, if you're a collector, there's the comments. Put it down there. I'd like to know a little bit more about this thing and how old it is. Thanks, guys.